If you are in the market for a way to get out and enjoy this gorgeous spring weather that we're having, the Medina Farmers Market kicked off its season today offering a way to support local businesses. News 5's John Rutter shows us what's new this year. For the last 16 years, from elderberry syrup to vegan baked goods, the Medina Square Farmers Market, fresh meat, cut flowers, homemade salsa, has been a springtime staple. Local markets are like the lifeblood, uh, really the lifeblood of small businesses like mine. But now in a world headed towards post-pandemic life, these are not just farmers, these are vendors, these are small businesses. COVID really affected the market last year where people rely on samples of food, especially if it's something new. Well, last year we couldn't do sampling. It's a ray of hope for small businesses. The last year has been a roller coaster. Um, I've been in business for about three years, so I thought that there was a steady, okay, this is how it's gonna go, this is how it's gonna look. And then when the pandemic hit, you know, there were the highest of highs and the lowest of lows all kind of smushed together. Nicole Lazar owns Hay Health Junkie, specializing in elderberry syrup. It's a lot of fun. You get that kettle going and uh, the whole kitchen smells just delicious. People walk in and say, oh, what's cooking in here? She's one of 45 vendors that will be set up this year on the square. I could, you know, maybe get this on a store shelf somewhere, uh, but unless I'm standing there, you know, educating people what it's about, what it's for, how you can use it, you know, mix it in a smoothie, make a mocktail, uh, pour it over your yogurt, etc. People are going to say, oh, what is this? With a focus on local goods, everything sold at the market is made or grown within 35 miles of Medina. And when you go to that booth and you're buying something, you're going to be talking to the person who grew it or the person that made it. And you can have that one-on-one -on -one and make that connection about, you know, where your food is coming from. Reporting for News 5, I'm John Rutter.